Hey guys, Red Pen Running here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day this video. All right, I know my voice sounds a little bit weird. I'm in the middle of Vietnam right now recording this video for you guys, so sorry about that. You might hear some honks and some other stuff. <laughs> That's normal. Anyways, there has been an announcement of a new Bitmain Antminer X9, a new Monero ASIC miner. Well, I don't think it, it's not an ASIC, and I'm going to go through that throughout this video. I, I opened up the uh, X5 before, which had like 8 gigabytes DDR4 sodium RAM, which everyone knows RAM is very expensive now. So I'm kind of curious how Bitmain is uh, for their new X9. I wonder what kind of RAM chips they're using. Uh, anyways, besides the point, okay, there's a lot of things I want to go through in this video. And so first things first, they have announced that this thing will do 1000 kilohash, okay, for random X algorithm. Um, at 2,472 watts, right? So I do also want to go through some comparisons here, comparing, you know, other, uh, you know, Monero XMR hash rate hardware that's out there. And as well as there has been a Reddit post on Monero, r slash Monero, 15 hours ago as I'm recording this video, uh, apparently there's a random XV2 update and that is being planned for the next Monero network upgrade which apparently might happen in the next couple months here. So is this going to render the new Bitmain X9 like into a brick because of the algorithm change that could be coming up here pretty soon? No. So the Antminer X9 or even the X5 even, um, this is not an ASIC. Okay. It's not an application specific integrated circuit. Uh, this uses RISC-5 uh, chips, uh, RISC-5 architecture. So general purpose CPUs. And so what has to happen, and you can see here, <laughs> when I, I had to open up my Antminer X5 because it literally died three days after I got it. And so I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have any confidence that this new X9 is gonna be reliable. And do I recommend anyone buying this, especially at a pre-order and shipping day of July, 2026? De definitely not. I, I don't recommend anyone doing it. But I, I, yeah, again, I'm going to go through some comparisons here, obviously much more efficient, but we'll, we'll go through that later. But anyways, so the RISC-V processors, if Bitmain decides to update uh, their X9, for instance, uh, to mine the new random XV2, they would have to do a software update, a firmware update, essentially, uh, so that the their new X9 could essentially mine uh, random XV2. And is it going to be, you know, efficient and profitable by the time that comes out? We don't know. So according to this Reddit post, so let's just read this real quick here. This is from SECH1. I believe he's one of the contributors to the random X algorithm, but let's just read here. It's still planned for the next Monero network upgrade. The new algorithm will introduce hash random X commitments for faster verification. What's more important right now is that it also aims to increase efficiency of Ryzen and other modern CPUs in general uh, in terms of work done per joule of energy. Efficiency can't be measured directly in hashes as the algorithm will change. Uh, we, uh, Tevador, which I believe is the main author of random X, and then uh, it says me and user HYC underscore Simus, have identified a few areas in the original random X where modern CPUs get stalled, bottlenecked, and don't perform at their full potential. Random X V2 fixes these findings. Random X V2 in its current form will bring about 10 to 15% improvement in random X instructions and 2X increase in AES instruction executed per joule of energy on AMD and Intel CPUs. Hash rate will stay roughly the same depending on the CPU. Okay, that's 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 good. Uh, will it be enough to neutralize the Bitmain X9's advantage over the efficient AMD Epic builds? Probably no, but V2 will make it significantly less efficient, uh, at least by 30%, they said. So further tweaking might improve these numbers. So, okay, so maybe the efficiency here, what we're seeing today, uh, you know, according to mining now, this, of course, this is going to change in six to seven months, all right, depending on, uh, you know, Monero's price, which is obviously quite, you know, elevated right now, $435 Monero. But anyways, so it says, finishing off this Reddit post here, my current plan is to finish the implementation in January, uh, which is pretty much now, and then spend time tweaking it further. Uh, P.S. to answer the possible question, no, the X9 didn't change my plans because I've been planning for early 2026 random XP2 release for a long time and started actively working it on it in December. 
All right, so this has already been in the works, I think since 2022, or sorry, 2023. So this is nothing new, but I think because of this, you know, new uprise of the Antminer X9 announcement here, uh, this has brought forth a bit of urgency, I think, <laughs> especially within the community. Also reading the comments, people seem to <laughs> people seem to want to get rid of this uh, ASIC. It looks like an ASIC, but it's RISC V processors in them. Okay, it's, there's no ASICs in it. It's a RISC V processor, a general purpose CPU, basically, which uses RAM, <laughs> Sodium RAM, which was in my X5, as you guys can see here, eight gigabyte DDR4, 3200 Sodium. So I'm not sure what the new X9 is gonna be. Um, if I do get one, which I probably will be getting one in the near future, I will definitely open it up and we'll, we'll check it out. But um, do I recommend anyone going out and pre-ordering this and shipping out in July? No, I, I definitely, I'm, I'm guessing the reason why for the delayed shipping is because of the memory and I guess also silicon is in high demand right now. So that's why uh, for the very delayed uh, release of this, I'm guessing in terms of, you know, for the manufacturing of this uh, X9 and of course, including the, uh, uh, the memory, <laughs> the sodium that these require. This one, this X5 had three hash boards and it looks like it had uh, six memory sodium slots. All right, so six RISC-V processors, six eight gigabyte sodium sticks per board. So tack on another two more hash boards. We don't know what the X9 is gonna be. It does look like by this picture, it looks like it does have the new P13 uh, cable. Probably not. My X5 had the two C13s to C14, you know, power plugs. I'm guessing that's what it's gonna be because I mean, the X5 at the time, was only, uh, was, was it, how much power did that thing take? About 1350 watts, right? 1350 watts and, you know, 212 kilohash at 1350 watts. So this new one, the X9, apparently does about 2400, 2500 watts, which could poss possibly change because of uh, the random XV2. All right, well, I guess we'll see once that comes out. And, you know, <laughs> Bitmain is gonna even do a software update uh, on their X9. I'm sure they will. They're probably going to be working on that. I mean, people who are buying this thing, uh, there would be quite an uproar if Bitmain did not up, uh, update the X9 uh, to the new random XV2. And uh, yeah, we don't know what hash rate it's going to be by then. So that's kind of the thing as to why I think pre-ordering this is not a good idea. I, I saw it on Crypto Miner Bros. Thanks to CryptoMinerBros.com, today's video sponsor. Again, I don't recommend buying it. I don't recommend buying it at this point in time. Uh, even though it's a six thousand dollar pre-order on their website uh july batch that's quite a far far time away i think by the time that comes out i don't i don't know we don't know if monero is going to be this high right but that's the thing is monero going to stay this elevated <laughs> who knows nobody knows right and so if you're going to be so if you're going to be someone who's going to take that risk and pre-order this thing in hopes that it's going to come out by july and you know, Monero, Monero is happy-go-lucky, extremely elevated in price still. Go for it, but I not. I'm personally not going to take that risk. I know some people will. I know that the X5 uh, wasn't really such a big. It didn't really affect the Monero hash rate that much. It like there weren't many of these out in the wild. I mean, I guess that makes sense because mine died, and I know a lot of other people's uh, X5 died as well. Um, there weren't really many people who could fix these things, but anyways, yeah, so I don't know how many of these X9s they're going to release in the wild. And so anyways, let's just go through some existing numbers now. Okay. So looking at the X9, okay. So 1000 kilohash, I'm doing this by kilohash. I have, um, an, a Bitmain X5 here, 212 kilo, kilohash. So you can see that's about a five X, uh, in hash rate increase, uh, for the new model, the X9 here. And then in power consumption, it's, a, it's about a 2x, roughly, um, as of now. But then what about the Ryzen CPUs? You know, is it going to blow the Ryzen CPUs out of the water? You know, general purpose CPUs for CPU mining? Yes, yes. I think at this point, yes. Because if you look at the 7950X, you know, 22 kilohash, 170 watts, give or take. Some people can get more efficiently, uh, efficient numbers. That's about a 7.7 .7 watt per hash. Uh, the X9 would be a 2.4. Now, actually, one thing, if um, Mr. Uh, Trevador and Sect1, and I think Harry Chu is his name, uh, basically the contributors to the RandomX algorithm, 
if they're working on the new V2 and they, they're claiming that it could be a 30% less efficiency for the X9, then in my head, does that mean that then the watt per hash could be, what, 3.2, 3.4-ish? I don't know, I'm you know, watt per hash. That would still be one of the most efficient uh, miners for random X, right? Or uh, random XV2, that is. So I guess the next best one would be the uh, Ryzen 9 uh, 7945HX at 19.2 kilohash at 85 watts at the wall. Yes, that's at the wall. Uh, for anyone that's wondering, Red, Red Panda, what are you talking about? 7945HX. So this was a miner that was sold on Mini's forum for about 250 bucks. Uh, they had a really massive deal. I, I was able to get two of these. Uh, There's a coupon in order to get uh, the motherboard and 7945HX CPU com combined for 250 bucks. This happened like during the summertime. By the time everyone was knowing about it, some people got like, some people got 10 or some people got 20 of them at the time. I wish I ordered more. Um, this was a really good deal. Of course, it takes so dim memory and obviously now that's very expensive, but back then it wasn't. Um, so this, I think the 7945HX was a, one of the best CPUs at that time, or still now, efficiency-wise, uh, for mining uh, Monero. Um, so don't mind this price. That's just, I put that in there just for uh, being cheeky. Uh, anyways, so a 3900X, which I predominantly have mostly, I get about 12 to you know 11 kilohash, 110, 140 watts or so. I get about 8.7 watt per hash. So that's about 4X worse than an X9. But right now, my 3900Xs are actually still profitable uh, for me at my seven cents electric. So that's still okay for me. Um, and for anyone that's still CPU mining, I think it's still generally okay. But the biggest question is how many of these X9s are there gonna be coming out in the wild? Nobody knows, right? Um, now, there's also the AMD Epic CPUs. I just, I don't really know many people with AMD Epic CPU mining Monero um, because these are such power hogs and they also cost an, a metric F ton. And so efficiency wise, uh, these are numbers I just got from hashrate.no. So 9654 processor apparently does 4.9 watt per hash. So pretty efficient, right? Pretty efficient. Um, now, if we were to go and just talk about the pricing roughly, just guesstimating, um, looking at the dollar per hash, yes, the X9, as of right now, would be the better buy uh, in terms of dollar per hash. You're getting, um, you're spending less money per hash rate, and you're also getting top efficiency as well. So this, in theory, is, is a great buy. Um, as of now, for CPU or Monero mining, uh, XMR, that's it, that's it though. Um, but unfortunately, it's not coming out until July. So again, personally, would I go out and pre-order this thing? No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Am I probably going to get one to review for you guys? Yes, yes. I will review one of these. I will open it up and it'll probably die after three days. Who knows? Who knows? But um, anyway, so yeah, this is something I think is probably going to... You know, I was looking at the difficulty for Monero and it hasn't really gone up that much over the past, I don't know, couple of months. I mean, <clears throat> I think because of the uh, uprise in uh, Monero's price, it has been slowly climbing up, but it hasn't been drastically climbing up. So I don't think Bitmain is doing any pre-mining or anything uh, with this, you know, X9 yet. Hash rate hasn't really spiked up that much. Uh, difficulty wise so maybe they're already mining on them i don't know i don't know really how many x5s are out there in the wild right now uh, um, but um, i really don't think there's that many because it's not affecting um, cpu mining profitability so cpu mining profitability is still like like i said i have a 3900x and 3900x's mainly uh, predominantly and they're still they're still doing okay on monero uh, this is at 10 cents i'm at seven cents so it's out, oh, that's 70 cents, let's do seven cents, and that's gonna be a lot better. Yeah, I'm, I mean, 18 cents, it's not, I'm, not, I'm not making a lot, but it's still profitable. Uh, I'm just trying to put that out, for me anyway. Um, I will probably have to get a, I'm probably gonna sell my 3900Xs pretty soon here, uh, because there's obviously a lot better, more efficient CPUs, 7945HXs, 7950Xs, you know, uh, but, I don't know if I'd be building. See, this is the thing, right? By the time July comes out, you know, is the RAM shortage 
you know, Ram gate, you know, Ram evolution, revolution hap still going to happen by the time, you know, all the Ram prices are going to be extremely elevated still by July. Who knows? Nobody knows. Um, so this, that's the thing regarding this X9, Risk Five processors, um, the Sodium RAM in this thing, which <laughs> when I first opened it, I was just like, dude, this is this thing. It, it's it's a, like, you know, six computer or six processors put together, uh, six Sodium slots. You know, I, I thought that was really cool. It was not reliable. Obviously, mine died in three days. So who knows if this one's going to be uh, the next best thing or not. Nobody knows, right? I guess we'll find out. Okay, my friends, I think that's it for this video. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts regarding just anything. Is, is this going to be good? You guys think it's going to be a good buy? Are you going to get one? Are you going to try to pre-order one? I think most people are not going to do that. Um, but anyways, all right, you guys let me know your thoughts. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.